Currently, no one is penned by Mark because his Mark Arnold from Optiv was it Source or was it? Uh, it was OWASP? Source. I thought it was OWASP. It wasn't OWASP because okay. I'd never spoken to OWASP. That's true. I'd remember, if, I okay. think, okay. maybe not. But okay. in any case, Mark Mark gave the keynote here today at Secure World Boston, which is not OWASP. Well, <laughs> it is and it was not. very popular. And you talked about Calvin and Hobbes. Was that the premise of your talk? Like, well, the, t the, t the premise of the talk was velocity. Okay. And that we we spend a lot of time chasing hackers, hacker methods, but we don't chase innovation. Mm -hmm. And and so doing, we find um, very far behind uh, innovation, um, business uh, uh, strategic strategies. We're, we're we're just not we're being outpaced by innovation, and we can't mm -hmm. seem to keep up. But we are always spending our time chasing attackers, but not you know focusing on on the velocity of our developers and our innovators. Mm. How do we get people who are true innovators to understand security? Because we've had this conversation about data science, fair, right? Have you, have fair, you heard? Fair, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Yeah. So I, I figured I'd get that, uh, you know, that critique from my attacker and pen friends like yourself that, you know, we, Developers, they're they're dumb. They don't get it. They're they don't know. You know. Well, no, that's not what I said. No, well, not Just dumb. for the record, not dumb. But <laughs> Mark they, said they, that they don't. Developers I said that. are dumb. You heard it here <laughs> first on Security <laughs> Weekly. Mark Arnold. I said they say that, <laughs> but um, the fact that we don't think they know security the way we know security, if that makes Correct. makes sense. Correct. And so I get that. I think the, the fine line is somewhere in between understanding the attacker. Um, Methodologies, kill chains, like you know, we, we get all that. But understanding, I think, I think where I'm getting at is understanding how um, innovation is happening, how the developers are working, why, 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 why are we now starting to embrace automation and orchestration? They've been doing that for a while on the DevOps side, but now we're seeing uh, in the security space um, this this move to uh, um, automate. You know, we've been done. We've done a lot of detecting, a lot of uh, collecting of logs. But making those actionable. A lot of manual labor. A lot, a lot of manual, right? Manual, right? <laughs> yeah. With with uh, you know a lot of uh, resource strain. You've got you know two, three gals and guys trying to do it all, and it's just you're being outpaced. But I think we're being outpaced on both sides of the spectrum, the the attack side and the innovation side. Yeah. No, I I actually I agree with that. I agree with that. So how do we embrace this innovation without like losing sight of the insights that we bring as security professionals, the the you know those minute details that they're, they're very yeah, when we look at a log <laughs> and we're like yeah registry entry write this file kind of like that yeah and I could train a computer how to do that right but it, it, what's the right blending of people process and technology I guess is the my question I think we're still uh, in the stages of trying to figure out what, what that is um, we always use the mantra build build it in um, we have folks you know in our community, you know, doing things like I am the Calvary, saying, you know, is it going to be policy that gets us to where we need to be? You know, we, we have policy for building buildings, cars, what have you. We've been talking about software. Um, in my talk today, you know, do we do that for cloud? Mm -hmm. um, I, I was asked uh, just last week, you know, what policies would I consider for cloud? I'm like, um, because it's so unmanaged, anyone can pull out their credit card and, and spin up an instance in AWS, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know the difference, you know, the difference uh, uh, of them, you know, being up there already uh, because um, they're emboldened, they're uh, empowered to be able to do that. And I can't, there's no way, you know, I can get around that or get ahead of that unless I know about it. And so maybe we have to start thinking about building it in also for the cloud. And I know it sounds hokey because we've been saying that, you know, for ages, but... Um, yeah, we've been saying bake security bake, in, bake it in right? from the beginning, right? But we, we, can, we can never seem to get it to get there, to that point. Get it there, but I think I think we might have a shot at this point of the computer evolution. Um, we're seeing a lot of traction um, at the CSPs themselves. They're building. They're starting to build the capabilities in. Actually, you know, we were kind of talking about the vendors. I mean, the vendors are going to start feeling pressure uh, from the CSPs like Amazon or Google. They're saying, you know, I. I I see what the vendors are selling, but maybe we can start, maybe we'll build the capabilities in. We saw a lot of, of uh, notifications and announcements at uh, reInvent earlier, mm -hmm. um, late last year. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting for the vendors because CSPs are saying, well, we'll, we'll start to put all of that stuff in. We'll start to abstract more layers. Um, so, you know, moving from cloud, which is already old, to containers, which is getting old, uh, next serverless, 
Well, yeah. like, containers are already old. And well, um, and, and some and you some have a time machine, don't you? In the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with Calvin and Hobbes. Right? Calvin and Hobbes. You brought Calvin's time machine. Um, <clears throat> you know, all yeah, this. Right, so, Mark, I wonder, um, like, how much Amazon and Google are going to build in in terms of security? How much they're going to just buy up other companies and have them run as a subsidiary, and how much they're going to leave to everyone else? Because they, I mean, they are big companies. They can't do everything. They can't do everything. Um, but to your to your point, I, I see the the extraction abstraction layers happening uh, um, at at great at greater speed than we've seen in in, in times past in, in the compute evolution, and um, I, I think we're seeing some concern on the uh, the part of uh, traditional security uh, mm -hmm. practitioners. You know, you know, is my job being uh, changed? Is there a metamorphosis going on that I'm not going to be a part of? We've, we've talked with uh, some of the folks at 451 Group, uh, Adrian over there, about democratization. You know, is it going to be more on the part of the builder to defend what you, so you build what you, you build what, you defend what you build. Mm -hmm. um, is it going to be some of that um, to make sure, I guess, to get that coverage that you're kind of uh, getting at. So the CSPs are making their advancements, buying up, uh, building in. But then maybe we're democratizing uh, security so that it becomes more of the ownership, more of the, more of the ownership goes out to more individuals, so that we're not depending on understaffed uh, infosec teams. Mark Arnold, thank you very much for appearing on Security thank, Weekly. Thank you for having us.